Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. About a month ago, AKK reached out to me again and asked me if I would like to review their all-in-one cameras and I said yes and today I don't have one, not two, but three all-in-one FPV cameras and today in this video I'm going to give you an overview of all of them. I've already reviewed one of AKK's product, the CO2 model, which is no longer sold as far as I know and I was quite happy with it and I've added it to my Hubsan H502E in order to make a beginner's FPV quadcopter. So starting from the left, first of all, we have the AKK A5, which is a separated transmitter and a camera model. It supports 40 channels and has this brass antenna. If you're planning to add an OSD to one of these cameras, this one is going to be the easiest one to add OSD to because you have video in and video out. You just need to cut this wire over here plug one wire to the video in, the other one for the video out, and the OSD is going to be overlaid on the screen. This camera, like all the other ones, is 600 TV line CMOS camera. In addition, all of these cameras are using the NTSC video system and the minimum illumination is one NUX. The AKK A5 working voltage is between 3.3 volts to 5 volts, so let's power it up. Changing the channels of the AKK 5 is done by pressing this button. If you short press it for about a second, it's going to switch between the channels. And if you long press it, it's going to switch the band. So you can see the red LED is moving to the right. This is channel 1, now it's flashing twice, is channel 2 and so on and over here in the instruction manual you have the frequency and channel table and then you can match your favorite band and channel. Coming next is the AKK S2. You can see this is the only camera that has a cloverleaf antenna which is in my opinion maybe can give you a better signal but in the end of the day it's a more fragile antenna so using it, using it on micro quadcopters can be a little bit problematic therefore I prefer normally the brass antennas and use them with a higher output. This one is limited to only 25 milliwatt and it is also set using these LED indicators so it's not as convenient as the LED screen like on the S2 model. Setting the channel is done by short pressing this button and you can see the channels goes between 1 to 8. 8 is all the way to the right and if you want to switch the frequency you have to long press it until the blue LED indicator moves and you can switch between six options and you have a total combination of 48 channels. The last camera is the BA2 model which as you can see has this brass antenna and also it has a selectable output strength. You can choose either 25 milliwatt or 200 milliwatt. AKK just released a new model, the BA3, which also has a 50 milliwatt option. Changing the channel is simply done by pressing this button. You can choose between 1 to 8. If you long press this button for 2 seconds, you can choose your frequency. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 options. So in total you have 40 channels and you can switch between 25 and 200 milliwatts by long pressing the button for about 5 seconds. And then you can choose 0 which stands for 25 milliwatt and this equal signs which stands for 200 milliwatts. The weight of the BA2 camera is 4.4 grams. The S2 weighs 4.12 grams. And the A5 camera weighs 4.44 grams. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mount this camera side by side and record some footage. I hope you enjoyed this video and you find it useful. Enjoy the rest of it. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.